Unfortunately, Alferia Erikona was not able to come today, so I will present instead of her. Unfortunately, the reality is that we don't see our patients healthy. Some of our patients, uh, the illness progresses and we observe metastasis and therefore we are talking about increasing the quality of life instead of um, saving the patient. And a big part of the problem is metastasis in bones. And if we look at the graph, uh, it's most related to breast cancer, prostate cancer, then renal cancer and um, central nervous system. Rank ligand is a um, main mediator in uh, the uh, uh, circle, vicious circle of uh, bone dis destruction in patients with uh, solid tumors. The process of synthesis is uh, um, comparable with lesion processes, but uh, tumor cells uh, increases causes uncontrollable growth of cells and uh, metastasis. It uh, activates osteoclasts uh, that then produce a rank ligand and um, osteoblasts uh, appear in a great amount that necessary. And uh, bone complications develop in this case. What uh, do we include in, cause, uh, in bone complications? First, surgical interventions on bones because of fractures or uh, in case of compression of uh, um, mm -hmm, spinal cord. And then uh, radiation. It is rendered in two uh, types in uh, smaller or bigger fractions. The difference in uh, pain syndrome occupation uh, is, uh, doesn't show any difference, but uh, in smaller, bigger fractions, uh, radiation therapy is more effective. Also, modifying agents uh, are divided in two groups agents of uh, bisphosphonates group uh, include clondrain acid the dose is different and depends on the syndrome taken as tablet next clondronic acid nitrogen uh, containing bisphosphonate it is taken daily pomidronic acid uh, bisphosphonate nitrogen containing and the most efficacious out of bisphosphonate is zolindronic acid containing two nitrogen atoms. It's introduced form as formula grams uh, within 15 minutes every three, four weeks. Next is uh, monoclonal antibodies such as denosumab. The dose is 120 milligrams uh, once in four weeks used to admit metastasis uh, into the bones of solid tumors. This drug doesn't require adjustment uh, in patients having renal failure. Uh, this is the scheme devoted to the levels of uh, well, how denosumab works. It blocks the uh, rank ligand. It doesn't allow to Im it to impact osteoblast, thus impeding uh, uh, lysic processes in bones, while bisphosphonates affect all stages of osteoclast formation from its maturation to programming its apoptosis, thus lysic capacities of osteoclasts go down. Comparative analysis was carried in a big trial which recruited 
to arms standard denosum up subcutaneously plus intravenous placebo second group zolindronic acid intravenously and placebo subcutaneously primary endpoints uh, that was studied that was time until first uh, uh, burn complication and then they started secondary endpoints as to bone complications, those were pathological fractures, radiotherapy, surgeries on bone, as well as compression of the spine. Uh, the group of recruited patients were similar in uh, age, sex, uh, somatic status, earlier uh, therapy, biology of tumor, presence or absence of uh, distant metastasis in visceral and other borders. Primary endpoint and median uh, to for the uh, denosumab was not achieved by, but with zolindronic case it was 26 months and showed risk reduction by 18%. Less bone complications was in the group with donosumab versus zolindronic acid. That was 23% risk reduction. Besides, they evaluated uh, levels of bone markers on the 13th week. This is urinal, telopeptide, and creatinine. It was shown that uh, markers of bone a resorption are reduced by desumab versus zolindronic acid. So the mean rate of bone complications reduction of markers of bone resorption is as follows. Denosumab reduces the rate by 22%. Denosumab subcutaneously resulted more significant of markers of bone resorption versus zolindronic acid. Time to First study of bone uh, complication or hyperconceivia showed denosumab and 18% risk reduction. But overall survival remained the same and didn't uh, show any significant differences. The assessment was made uh, with regards to safety profile. 22 clinically significant complications were identified and they analyzed uh, them. Such adverse events as fever, bone pain, renal failure, dyspepsia were typical for zolindronic acid group. For group with denosumab, that was uh, toothache and hypercalcemia. Uh, rate of adverse events related to renal failure was uh, low in denosumab group, low by twice. And the rate of adverse events in denosumab group was approximately the same uh, versus patients who were not on denosumab. None of the patients with denosumab group had uh, discontinuation of therapy as a result of renal failure, while uh, with zolindronic acid, and they discontinued therapy in case of acute renal failure. So uh, they made correct adjustment of the dose. The zolindronic acid uh, dose was reduced in 13% uh, in the second group. Uh, denosumab uh, didn't require uh, dose uh, retention line with uh, renal toxicity. Thus, indications for the use of osteomodifying agents in metastatic tumors are presence of metastasis uh, in bones, osteolytic uh, or mixed, diagnosed by a method of radio diagnostics. Diagnosis has to be confirmed. Therapy with osteomodifying agents has to be set after metastasis are found in bones, even with the absence of clinical symptoms. When do you have to switch patient from zolindronic acid to denosumab? When it's impossible to continue therapy um, by bisphosphonides because of renal failure or bisphosphonide therapy becomes non-efficacious because there are new lesions. Indications to denosumab are renal 
uh, feel uh, credit and clearance, pain syndrome, multiple metastasis with uh, the actual skeleton with the risk of pathological fracture, absence of adequate venous access or overall expected overall survival more than three months. Duration of treatment is not determined, but it is considered that it has to continue until the appearance of clinically significant complications, significant aggravation of condition due to progression of the disease, progression of metastatic processes in bones is not uh, the ground to discontinue bisphosphonate treatment with uh, uh, treatment. Thank you.